What's up, guys? Uh, I just watched the videos that Drunk Nick and Chime Nick put up yesterday, and I'm here to say don't listen to either of them. All right, man, this is Hangover Nick. I'm the real one, okay? Nick's complicated. Drunk Nick, he'll buy like a $2 candy bar from a kid to help support a charity, and then he'll shoplift from airports. That dude's not 100% legit. They've got decent ideas, but you've got to take it the way you want to take it. Chime Nick will say something like, Hey man, uh, you gotta collect people and, and enjoy life. Enjoy as many people as possible. Well, Hangover Nick's gonna tell you this, all right? Keep your circle small because it's less funerals to attend. How about that for some reality? Also, like, they're technically virgins anyway because Chime Nick never got laid. I know that for a fact. And Drunk Nick, uh, you know, maybe a couple of times, but it was Stone Cold Sober Coffee Nick that was kicking ass out there. You listen to him. And I mean, can somebody have different points of views at different points in their life at different times of the day? Yeah, of course. You can't take everything that uh, is posted as it's the only way the person believes. To take something from social media and it just devour it like, oh, that's all I'm gonna need. That's like Soylent. Oh, that's the full serving of, of beliefs and needs. No, you obviously have to see the situation you're in and decide how you're going to deal with it and what piece of advice works for you or if your old ways of thinking work for you. And if I'm gonna be honest, there's a lot of people that shouldn't be in relationships or dating, all right? Uh, let's start with if you've got OCD, if you've got ADHD, if you're left-handed, if you uh, bald early, if you're short, uh, if you're not funny, if you're lame, if your job sucks, if you don't have a decent car, if you don't got enough money to date, if you're under the age of 27, if you've never uh, been able to keep a plant alive, uh, if you have a diet of hot Cheetos, if your insurance rates are still up there, if they haven't dropped, if you're still on your family phone plan, if you dip your chicken nuggets in ketchup instead of any other sauce, if you've got a kid, if you are a kid, if you're a grandpa, if you're a stupid face, if you're a person that's walking really fast behind me, don't don't be dating people. Basically, if you feel weighed down in life, you shouldn't date. You're just not ready for it, okay? You don't need that extra stress in your life of trying to bring comfort and happiness to somebody else when you haven't even done it to yourself, all right? That's just how it works. Do it to yourself first. Get your life together and then get out there and see what's, what's available in the dating field. But you're not going to because you want to get laid. I get it, you know? So you jump into a lot of quick relationships or half dates and then you get all upset with yourself. Well, that's what happens, man. You're in a fucking hangover. And if you're feeling weighed down by life, man, you know, just check your, your emotional armor. Check what you're carrying because a lot of people carry preparedness on them constantly when they wake up for situations that probably won't arise in that day. And then you just weigh yourself down. You know, if you want to fix your, your personality, start checking it. Cut the rot. Have you outgrown the personality that suited you at one point? You probably have, all right? Especially that first personality. If you really think about it, that first personality is a collection of things that you did to make sure that you weren't embarrassed, to make yourself seem cool, to make yourself seem tough, uh, lessons that your parents taught you, sometimes even characteristics that they put on you that they wish they had themselves. Check all that, see if it still fits. Hopefully the first batch of your personality was a good batch and it uh, put you on a track for a good life. One of my main rules in comedy is to listen to every piece of advice, listen to every story, and then form your own Bible. And I do that in life. You have to listen to everything. Take it all in. You don't have to believe it all, but just know that those thoughts are out there and see how it works for you. And if it doesn't work, well, then just get rid of it. And finally, if you are unhappy, start with looking at your own personality. See if there's anything that you are hanging on to that no longer fits, that no longer works, okay? Look at yourself, cut the rot, and grow into a better person. All right, that's Hangover Nick. Uh, Drunk Nick might be around tonight. Chime Nick will probably show up and say some bullshit. So thanks guys for listening uh, and fuck those dudes.